Hey everybody, this is Matt, and this is my half year update, I guess you could say. Um, it's 12.35 in, in the morning, or almost uh, half an hour after midnight, um, on a Saturday morning, I guess. Friday night, Saturday morning. I've got a flight at 6 a.m., and so uh, I was going to do uh, some music, probably. I was trying to do some music before... Um, the flight took off, but um, I wasn't really feeling what I, I put down. Maybe I'll put it down and come back on Sunday and, and finish it up and post it. But uh, in any case, um, uh, since I have a flight at 6 a.m. and it's 12 a.m. now, there's no really point of actually trying to get any sleep because I don't really trust myself to wake up before the flight takes off. So here I am. Uh, trying to stay awake and I'll probably drive to the airport after this video but I wanted to basically try to do an update video because uh, I meant to do one in July and I didn't really end up doing that so here it is uh, what to talk about but the music right um, uh, basically uh, it's basically the same as the last time time that I updated you I think Basically, that um, my genres are still kind of in a state of flux, and um, I haven't been doing as much dubstep and uh, a little bit more of electro swing, which you guys really like, and synth wave, which you guys really like as well. Um, and it's once again, it's kind of an indication that people are trying to listen to different things other than uh, the dubstep stuff that was five years ago. So nothing that nothing really new, um, but uh, you know I hope you guys have been liking the music. Um, uh, personally, as for personal, I'm I'm I've, I'm going on this flight basically to see my parents. They haven't seen me in about a year, so it's, it's about time to go see them. And also, I have like a, a brother and two sisters that uh, um, I haven't seen in a while either, and all of them are there right now. <laughs> I'm the one that's shown up fashionably late. So <laughs> what can I say? I'm a fashionably late kind of guy, I guess. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I've done so much traveling that every time somebody wants me to fly somewhere, I'm like, it's, blah, I don't really want to fly anymore. I've done so much of that. It's, it's, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't know what it is. It's just like the excitement of going up in the air is kind of gone. Maybe one of these days I'll, I'll rent a trip up with that uh, Virgin Galactic uh, air, airliner or whatever. Um, only after I get like a hundred thousand dollars, right? One can dream, though. Uh, speaking of that, though, um, let's turn my attention to the gaming channel, which some of you guys have still, you know, subscribed to, and I thank you so much for that. Um, you guys may have noticed that uh, for the last four or five videos the the channel's kind of taken a really odd turn to the to to the left you know um uh it's so basically what it is is i kind of shifted my gaming channel to more of a science channel uh a little bit of an alternative science channel actually and, and not the flat earth stuff because uh, i don't really buy into that um if you guys do that's fine but um, for me, I'm, I've gotten Ill, a little bit more into the electric universe uh, field where it's, it's, it's a different explanation of what the universe is, basically. So it's uh, the electric universe uh, and the Project Thunderbolts, which I'll link Project Thunderbolts and their YouTube channel in, in the description below. But basically, um, it's, a, it's a collection of ideas and um, theories and concepts and experimental data that um, kind of paint the picture that the, the fundamental force of the universe is not gravity. It's actually the electric force. And um, they've got a lot of experimental data and a lot of reasoning that correct for a lot of the shortcomings that we've been seeing in astronomy lately. Um, especially dark matter, because uh, astronomers have basically made up this thing called dark matter to explain a lot of things that they can't 
um, uh, account for in their mathematics. And so in order to kind of explain all that, they came up with dark matter. And uh, so, but that was decades ago and they haven't been able to prove that this dark matter actually exists. So, and, and a lot of other things too, where people, you'll read like these uh, documents or these like ma uh, articles for like science and stuff. And, and they'll be like, well, this probe found this thing what we totally did not expect. And now we have to change our whole models. We have to tweak our models to basically make our, our, our predictions correct again. Um, so, and there comes a point where you read so many of these things and you're le like, is it that your predictions need tweaking or is your entire concept really wrong? And, and, you know, and I get that, um, from the flat earth perspective, I get that there are people who are not satisfied with MSN science. Um, uh, and, but so, let's be honest, like it's, it's really easy to prove that the world is round. All you have to do is hang a phone onto a balloon and set it up to the air and then recover the, the footage. And you'll see from the camera's eye view of the phone, if it's recording that trip up into space, you'll see a, a round earth. That's, that's basically my opinion on there. But uh, the electric universe is kind of a concept that differs uh, from that in that they've actually got experimental data that back up their results. Um, like they've been showering all this material with like plasma and electric bolts and everything. And you can see that their experimental uh, results kind of match up with some of our planets in the solar system. So this, this is my geek out moment, I guess. So that's, that's, that's what my gaming channel has done. And I kind of, I, I tried to get into Fallout 4, um, as, as a series and, I guess the way that I did it was kind of wrong because I did it in such a way that I tried to make it so it didn't swallow up my life like Fallout 3 did. Like I spent so many hours at a time in the day doing that one thing that I figured that if I want to keep my music up and, and keep the quality of my music up, then what I want to do is I want to just play one hour at a time, one or two hours uh, a week. And then with the footage that I get from that play session, basically just divide that, the, that video up into like five or six videos. And then you'll have enough content to basically fill one or two weeks. Right. Um, the problem with that is that when you like do that, you basically stop playing the game for two weeks and then it's hard to come get back into it. Like, um, Fallout 3 was a constant process through, uh, for me and providing that stop moment moment. I, I don't know what happened. I just, I didn't feel the need to go back into the game. Maybe I, I will do it pretty soon, but at this moment I'm just like, eh, I, I don't know if I go back into the game where I left off now, I'd be kind of lost because I, I don't, I, I, kind of remember what's going on but not really the specifics because you know life has been busy outside of the game obviously so yeah that's my gaming channel news uh, i hope you guys still like the channel um and let me know what you think about this whole electric universe thing uh, i might rebrand it so so the channel channel is more accurate if i can continue with more videos on that subject um yeah so in in any case uh youtube is still up in the air with uh apparently like they like censorship so much and it's it's so confusing because i remember like like six years ago they were they were battling china because china was trying to get them to censor and they're like no china we're not going to censor you we're, you, uh, we're not going to censor our users what are you talking about and then now, now they're, they're kind of like stepping up that game and it's, it's kind of disheartening. And so I'm still, up, I'm still uploading my videos to vid.me 
and also to um, a couple other platforms that are not the main thing. And uh, we'll so see what goes from there. I like I, I've seen a lot of YouTubers that are not giants basically just give up, and it's it's kind of sad to see because like I really like uh, watching some of the smaller YouTuber con uh, content. It's just um, it's it's sad to see them just give up, but you do what you gotta do to survive. Obviously, if if you if you're not making it um in the youtubing world then you've got to get a real job and sometimes it's hard to balance that with uh ma making videos and stuff like that so i totally understand i'm not mad it's just like you know it's uh youtube is changing and and sometimes it's not for the better for us you know and and i heard that they're trying to make it cable television no <laughs> That's the exact opposite of what we want, but apparently what the consumer or what, what the user wants no longer applies sometimes. But maybe one of these days Google will wake up and actually realize that they have a platform that is unique and that they should preserve it like that. Make it free speech um, as long as you're not threatening people. The ideas, the spread of ideas is healthy. So, in any case, that's my update for the day. And uh, maybe one of these days I'll do that a little bit more often, one of these uh, updates. Obviously, I'm a little tired. Um, I think I'm going to go and drive to the airport now and maybe catch some of these over there because I don't really trust myself on the bed. Um, you know, I might oversleep and miss my flight. So have a great, great rest of August, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.